How do you know if you're getting a good rate for your mortgage? Or if the car payments are affordable on that new car you want to purchase? All of that depends on how close your interest rate is to the prime rate. Welcome to MoneyWise. My name is Chris, and we're going to explain the prime rate and how it impacts the average American. Let's imagine the average American family. Let's call them the Johnsons. The Johnsons need a mortgage, but like most of us, they also have other expenses like groceries, kid sports, and vacations that they need to afford. So how do they find a mortgage that doesn't break the budget? It all starts by knowing what the prime rate is. The prime rate is created by the big banks by taking the overnight rate, which we'll get to in a minute, and usually adding 3%, also referred to as three points. Banks then use the prime rate when designing loans for mortgages for their customers. If the bank rate is taking a higher risk by lending us money, they add more points to the prime rate. If it's a lower risk to the bank, then they add very little to the prime rate, and sometimes nothing at all. For the Johnsons, they need to know if they're high risk or low risk. If they're high risk, they should expect the bank will give them a mortgage rate that is much higher than the prime rate. Things that would make the Johnsons high risk would be a low down payment or low credit score. If the Johnsons were low risk, they should expect a mortgage rate that is closer to the prime rate and sometimes even below. Things that would make the Johnsons low risk would be a large down payment, a high credit score, or even if they opted for an adjustable rate mortgage. Okay, so that makes sense so far, right? But what about that overnight rate we referred to earlier and how does that impact prime rate? Well, the overnight rate, also known as the federal funds rate, is set by the U.S. Federal Reserve. This is the one rate to rule them all, and is the one you hear about most often in the news. The Federal Reserve uses this rate to speed up or slow down the economy. Think of this as an economic gas pedal, if you will. A higher rate will typically slow down the economy, and a lower rate will speed it up. For example, we know that the Johnsons want to buy a house and they'd be more likely to do so if the interest rates were lower because their mortgage payment would be lower. The opposite is also true. Instead of spending it, the Johnsons would be more likely to put their money in the bank and earn interest if the interest rate your bank pays them is higher. So let's recap. The overnight rate is set by the US Federal Reserve and is the gas pedal for the economy. Banks use the overnight rate to create the prime rate by adding 3% to it. The prime rate is used as a baseline to design loans and mortgages for families like the Johnsons.